Okay, so I'm going to make a navigation bar in Fireworks and then put that in a Dreamweaver. So I'm going to go File, New, and Fireworks. Let's make a, a, a white canvas color, a pretty big canvas so we have something to work with, 1000 by 500, and click OK. From here, I'm going to insert a new button, Edit, Insert, New Button. Let's just move these out of the way just a little bit. I'm going to go over here to the rectangle tool, rectangle tool, and let's change the color of the button to a black to make it very easy to see. Button size looks something like that. Let's make this a little bit, we can go over to the height section, let's make it a 30 height pixel, and let's say, let's say 100 for the width. Pretty simple. Uh, let's go make a little, let's make a little outline around it just so that we can see a little bit better. Let's make a red, one pixel wide. Uh, for the solid, let's put a little texture on it. Let's say we use a grass. And we make that, say, 20%, just to give it a little bit better look. Then we go to the text. Make the color white should be fine. Home, select this, and we can line it up. Fireworks helps us do that. You can see as I move it around. And I can also move it with the arrows on my keypad. Pretty close. Alright, so this is what we're going to do here. State up. This state, all I did was just click away from the button. I have to click on the, this blank part here. The state up shows what the state of the page of the button is while it's up on your web page. This is my web page, adambaronis.com. Now the up state of my navigation bar is red. Contact, Espanol, media, red, 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 red. That home is a down state. And this is an over. As I go over it, See how it changes colors. It uh, lets the, the web browser, the person browsing the web, know that he or she is actually on the button. So I don't have to make different buttons for the same one, if you know what I mean. You'll see what I'm saying. So that's the up state. The over state, we're going to copy up the graphic. Now that's the same graphic copied up. Now I can tinker with it. And let's say that as you go over it, I can change this to a bunch of different things. This is as you go over it. Let's say I make the texture from 20% up a little bit and I change the color to the red. It's just an example. So that's the overstate. The down state, copy up graphic that copies up the last graphic so I can edit it more easily. The down state will make it a, I'm just picking colors, I know it doesn't look that good. Let's change this to a blue. Uh, and make the text blue. So that's my down state. We can make the grain a little bit better too. The texture of grass, let's ease that up a bit. Well, let's just leave it up. Okay, so I've got three buttons here. Three buttons. Now, I don't feel like making, for my webpage for example, a home about teaching research. I don't have to do that whole process for all the buttons. Click out of it like that. I can move this over here if I'd like. Now I'm going to drag my button over here from the document library and place it in over here and put it right next to the other button. Text, let's change that to about. Let's drag it again. Let's make that one. Teaching. 
drag it again. Make sure these line up. Research. Drag a new button. And we'll just say contact. Now I've got my buttons. I'm going to fit the canvas. It's going to erase all of my my background essentially and make it really tight around the buttons. This is my navigation bar. I've got three different states, up, over, down, for a bunch of different buttons. And make, making this in fireworks, obviously. Okay. Now I'm going to export this. Well, you can save this, actually. Save as... I'm going to say this is delete, so I can just delete it when I'm done. PNG. It's important that you, that you keep the PNG file of your buttons so that you can go back and edit it later. So I save that as the PNG, and I'm going to export this. Let's see here. Export. Let's just export it to the to the desktop so that we can see it. I'm just going to export the images only to the desktop. That way you can see it. Export. Now I'm going to go to Dreamweaver. Create a new web, web page here. My web page from whatever load up. Alright, the Dreamweaver. I'm going to create a new page. Blank page, HTML layout, none. Just very basic. Create. Let's go split. I like split. Okay, now I'm going to go to the insert. So, you know, either your banner, you could have your banner, and then you could put the insert. You're going to go to Image, Objects, Navigation Bar, what you just created. Now, these are the, the elements. Elements, Home, About, Teaching, Research, Contact. Home, now I'm going to search for that up image, that one that we made. We know what an up image now, is now. I put this in, if you remember, I put this in my, on my, on my desktop. I'd name it delete because I want to delete these when I'm finished. So remember there are there are three images for each button, for each each one. This is the uh, up image. Choose. This is I think I made this the over. This is the down. What do I want the, the text to show when you have your cursor over it? Home. When click, go to home.html. Uh, and then I could show this down image initially. That's what that does. The down image initially is the home like that. If I click about, you can see that that about page has the down image shown initially. All right, add a new one. About takes a little bit of time. You'll get you'll get pretty pretty good at it. About Let's see here, roll his red up. Let's see here. About about alternate text about me about that HD, whatever your web page is. I don't want to click show down initially because I don't want to have two images in that down state. I just want to have the one for my home page. Now on my about page when I create the navigation bar on my about page, I have to do the same process except I have to click the show down initially for just that page. Good. What I put teaching. So teaching research contact. Teaching. Teaching. Re 
research takes a little bit of time. Research, research. Yes. Contact. Contact. Contact me. I'm gonna go to my contact web page. And that should be it. I'm gonna click OK. This is my navigation bar. We can center this. Save it. Let's preview that. And as you can see, this is a basic navigation bar. You can edit the, everything else that you see in it. There's the down state. You remember the over state is the red. About, teaching, research, contact. And as you click one, it changes, right? So that's the about. And I should do that for teaching. Mine's going to my teaching page because I'm in my uh, files that have the same web page saved research and you see how it works just like that not too bad I think That's basically it